Before starting the nPrinting installation, you must create a user with administrator rights. The user account needs to be for a local machine administrator. You can create a specific administrator user account to use exclusively for managing Click and Printing services. Assign administrator rights to this user account. When you have created the administrator user account, you have to assign rights to log on as a service. Because ClickView uses nominal licenses, you have to set up a ClickView desktop license for the user you created previously. To do this, we run ClickView as a different user, log in with the previously created end printing administrator, and then license the product for this user. Click and Printing has three setup files. The first one you install is the and Printing server. The first time you log into Click and Printing, you must create a user with administrator rights. Enter an administrator username and a valid email address and password. You will be able to create other users from the Click and Printing interface. Now you can fill in the user credentials. In the account name fields, define the local machine name, the user account name, and the password. Click Test Credentials to test that the account is valid. When the credentials have been verified, you can continue the installation process. Now you can open Clue and Printing. To do this, open your browser and point it to the local host and port 4993 for standard installation. The first time you open the web interface of a newly installed Click and Printing server, you will see the license activation request. Enter your license key and control number, and then type in your username and organization name. When you click on Activate, you will see a green message indicating the activation was successful. To enable Click and Printing Server to connect to instances of Click and Printing Engine installed on different machines, and to enable connections with other Click components, you must open the following ports. You must open ports 80, 443, 4993, 4994, and 4996 inbound on the Click and Printing Server to allow access from web browsers and Click and Printing Designer. If you are installing Click and Printing Engine on a different machine, you must also open inbound ports 5672, 4993, and 4994 on the Click and Printing server machine. You must also open ports 4242 and 4343 outbound on the Click and Printing server machine and the Click and Printing engine machines to connect to ClickSense.
To start working with end printing, you need to add at least one engine. You can take a look at this video that shows you how to install Click and Printing Engine.